In 1927, the jazz singer ushered in a new era of talking movies, with inventor Lee DeForest at the helm. But the story that's rarely told is of the man with whom DeForest developed the idea. Theodore Case and his partner Earl Swanable began developing the idea for synchronized sound in 1916 in a converted greenhouse at the Case family mansion in Auburn, New York. Experiments with synchronized sound date back to 1894 and Thomas Edison's invention of the phonograph. But it wasn't until Theodore Case invented thalified tubes, light-sensitive vacuums, that the technology could be put to good use. Oh, ma! He is making A the B. He is a phonase to me. Oh, he is almost breaking my heart. After experiments of his own failed, Lee DeForest teamed up with Theodore Case in 1921, but they had a falling out when DeForest claimed the inventions of Case as his own in 1925, something history has continued to confirm to this day. Believe me, with gold now at $33 an ounce, this outfit, which can handle 100 tons of pay dirt a day, is showing a nice profit. The strike has drawn many amateur prospectors to the scene. Boys, there's gold in that thar pan. In 1926, Case sold his patents to Fox Corporation to use for their movie tone newsreels. Thanks to the work of the Case Research Lab, the story of Theodore Case is beginning to take its rightful place in history. Singing in the rain, just singing in the rain. I'm going to make him an offer he can't refuse. Frankly, my dear, I don't give a damn. Toto, I have a feeling we're not in Kansas anymore. Toga, 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 toga. <laughs>